this morning. Hi guys, Turtle Kansas Kitty, and I welcome you back to my channel. There is no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. Watch me as I get undressed and show you the layers that I wear on an outdoor, early morning, cold run. I just finished an eight mile run. It was cold out like usual in Kansas City. We had some more snow this week. It was 18 degrees and um, feels like temperatures of about 12. So a lot of you have asked, what are you wearing when you're outdoors and you're being crazy like this? Um, so this is not the coldest that I'll run and I will run in the negative temps. So let me just do a quick journal and um, kind of a wardrobe diary of what I'm wearing when it's cold out. So I always use um, a headlamp. Um, this is, this headlamp is amazing because in the dark, in the morning, it shines out. It has 500 lumens in it, super cheap. Got it for like 14 bucks on Amazon. And when the cars see me, they probably think I'm like an extraterrestrial alien type thing come approaching them with this big beam and they always move over to the side for me. So um, I've got my headlamp. I do have a um, belt on. This belt I keep my phone in because I do listen to music when I run and then I also keep my keys in there. Um, typically I will wear a water belt as well but I um, learned last weekend when I did 16 miles that my water froze within the first mile so I, I I just couldn't hydrate through my run so I'm not I'm not even carrying water um, for an eight mile run so here is my belt for my phone um, I've got um, oh I've got this uh, kind of windbreaker and this is really uh, comfortable and um, breathable you can see in the back um, maybe I'm not sure but there's a uh, I don't think I can reach, but there's like a hole for breathing pockets just to keep that ventilation going. And this really breaks up the wind. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and I like the hood. It just adds a little protection over my head. Um, my headlamp. I've got um, another little band over my ears um, just to kind of give a little bit more. Um, excuse my hair, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> But this is one of those like baklava thingies that just like goes over your entire head. I can pull this up to my over my nose and the first mile and a half or so I did have it up. Then when I became warmer I just kind of you know brought it down so I could breathe um, a little bit more of that fresh air in. And you can breathe in and out of this. Um, but it comes down over my neck so that keeps me warm. Um, Let's see, I've got polar fleece gloves on. These are my fave um, because at the beginning of my run, I've got the little like, you know, mitts covered and my thumbs get covered too. Then when I need to breathe a little bit more or if I need to fiddle with anything, um, my fingers are free. Um, underneath my polar fleece gloves, and these are super warm, you can see. Um, I mean, they're just like, you know, they're, they're really, um, fluffy inside but inside I've got hot hands um, so these are my hotties these are just little packets that um, I put in every morning you shake and they get really hot they're still they're still very warm um, okay under I've got my Garmin on my Fitbit um, I kind of tied this a little snug this morning so let me see if I can get this Okay, underneath my jacket, I have a um, Under Armour Cold Gear um, turtleneck. So um, I have this in black, I have it in white, I actually have a red, I have a navy blue. These are really, really helpful because they are lined with this um, really thin fleece and having this against your skin just keeps, keeps you warm. The key is to keep your core warm and you're good to go. Um, you, I don't know where you're going to find these little bib like pants. They're like leggings. Um, I got these at a local store called, called Cargo Largo where they just get like weird stuff all over the country that you have to kind of hunt through. Um, and uh, uh, any, 
anyway. I've got them like I got them like ten years ago. I have two of them, but these are Adidas. Um, they're just like they have, they're a little bit thicker and. Um, they're also made with that kind of cold gear fleece material inside, so they keep me really, really warm. Um, I have my running shoes, um, and uh, I'll just grab those real quick. I do have um, wool socks on, and these are a little bit longer, keep my feet nice and warm. Um, underneath my Adidas kind of uh, leggings. I have some biker shorts underneath and that helps keep my bum warm because that is one area that I do get super super cold and then underneath my cold gear turtleneck I have another layer of um, a tank top so what you see here now is what I'm wearing in the summertime tank top and biker shorts um, and then just a sports bra underneath so there you go um 18 degrees feels like 12 and i'm cozy and i had a had a great run so when i get in the negative temperatures i will add a fleece um uh just like i'll show you that maybe sometime i'll add another protection of kind of a fleece layer and then um like I said, if I get into the negative temperatures, I'm also wearing ski goggles. But you can run. You can run at any temperature. Screw that treadmill. Um, runs outside are so much more exciting. The weather keeps it exciting. So, um, thanks for watching. So despite the weather, you can get out there too. If you wait for perfect conditions, you're never going to get anything done. It's only cold when you stop moving.